Bill, what what is this antenna? What do you call this antenna? That's a little cobweb. Okay, this is a cobweb antenna. Right now, Bill is doing critical measurements. Now he is tuning up his antenna. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna need to do that for sure. Increase the frequency and need to shorten the antenna. Whiskey seven, whiskey seven, Zulu Tango. Whiskey seven, Zulu Tango. Roger, Roger on the light copy. Handle here is Bill. Baker, I know, love, love. You're about a five by seven in the, in Arizona. In Arizona. Handle here is Bill. Go ahead. Yeah, we got you back into the over the hill zone, Roger. Yeah, Whiskey 7, Zulu Tango. Have a good day, and thanks for stopping by. Yeah, tell you there, over. Thank you very much. 7 3 to you, W7 Zulu Tango. That was Bill making a contact on his, his, what did you call that again? It's a cobweb. It's a cobweb antenna is what he did that on. Okay, we're at the park with Bill Maynard and he has built a new antenna that is shortened with those loop kind of things on there. And here's Bill and he's going to explain it. The concept is to uh, see if we can shorten the length of a dipole by uh, putting some insulators in between the, the buddy pole arms to uh, uh, put some loops down hanging on either side and uh, the loops are about three feet uh, each so there's extra uh, six feet on either side which effectively reduce the overall dipole about seven feet. Uh, seems to tune from uh, 1.2 to 1.5 across the, uh, the 20 meter band, even at about uh, 7 feet uh, uh, above the ground. So anyway, a concept, and we'll see where it goes from there. Thank you. Yep, and these are the, the loops he was talking about, and insulators up there. And I believe he's got that set there for two to one, anyway, very good.